What we are looking at is the largest data set of the universe. It's terabytes of material. So we've ported it to a 360 3D immersive and interactive environment, which enables anybody to navigate freely in amongst this huge and vast universe. The novelty of this project was putting all the data set available into one framework where you can see the universe at different scale. Nearby us, around the Earth, around the solar system, at the Milky Way level, to see through universe and time up to the beginning, what we call the Big Bang. We've built it in a very malleable framework, um, extensible framework, so it can move from a 360 degree 3D environment to a full dome environment, to a half cave or a full cave environment. Um, these, are, these are the large scale immersive systems of the day. It's well known that in uh, immersive systems you have a high cognitive loading. The stereographics, the immersion, this means you are able to fully embody a data set and that uh, has a profound effect on the way that you see it. The data set of the universe is just growing with time. So the idea is to complete our representation of the universe which is based on true data, with the new data set that's coming every day to make it even richer than today. And we are now able to simulate very large portion of the universe, which uh, provide us with terabytes of data. A very important point of this project is that it is a first step toward treating much larger data sets, which are coming, I mean, with um, incredibly complex uh, project like for example the SKA will obtain um, petabytes of data and at some point we'll have to visualize the data. So this project is definitely a first step toward treating larger amount of, of data. So we have billions of objects that we want to show in a virtual reality headset. So you have one here and those hardware render at 90 frames per second. Okay, so we wondered if we could use uh, a usual graphics engine for that, like Unreal or Unity, but those engines are, were not suited to the task. So we decided to, to do it from scratch and uh, using KD3 algorithms, uh, tweaking it uh, using PID loops and stuff like this, we managed to to render such a huge amount of data in a virtual reality environment. It's open source. You can download it, you can use it on your VR setup. We're able to discover the emptiness, the complexity of the universe, and it's a new way to explore our world. <laughs>